After spotting a hole in the fence, the little girl snuck into the unattended enclosure. It didn't take long for the crocodiles to find her, and soon she was surrounded. The year was 1953 and there was a new attraction in town, a crocodile farm. The neighborhood was excited. For many years, word had spread around that there were wild animal shows traveling across the country. Apparently, regular people were allowed to come into close contact with tamed crocodiles. Although this wasn't the first reptile show in the United States, the concept was completely alien to the people living in that area. Many families were interested. If you were to walk around the attraction, you would see that most of the people visiting were young men and women, some of them accompanied by their babies. The youth wanted to take advantage of the strange opportunities provided by the traveling show. Some of the enclosures allowed the excited visitors to feed the crocodiles. There were a few bold college students who attempted to wrestle with the tinier reptiles. For a fee, people were even given the chance to ride the creatures. Just like at a carnival or a Christmas market, there were so many things to do. One day, a couple had come along with their five-year-old daughter, Nancy. She was a tiny girl, no taller than a few feet high, and was just as curious as one would expect a young child to be. When her parents first walked into the farm, they had no idea that their little girl would end up catching the attention of everyone at the show. Nancy posed by a large sign that warned people not to get too close to the caged creatures. Her dad took out their brand new camera, focused on his adorable daughter, and snapped a picture. Beside him was his wife, Nancy's mother, who had begun to talk to one of the tourists. Apparently, many people outside of the town had dropped by to see the crocodile farm. It was all that people could talk about. Considering the fact that the attraction was due to leave in a couple of days, it was no wonder why it was such a crowded environment. Because it was so busy, it was easy for people to get lost. In the few minutes that Nancy's parents had spent talking to the visitor, they had lost sight of their daughter. Nancy watched her parents silently. The girl was no longer having fun. Her legs began to tire, so she sat down on the ground. When Nancy looked to her left, she noticed that there was a gap in the rusted fence. Although it wasn't very big, it looked like she could fit through it. She wondered where it led to. All she could make out through the hole was long grass. What's behind the grass? Nancy wondered. She turned back to her parents and tried to catch their attention by waving and shouting, but they didn't notice her. She called for them a few more times before eventually giving up. Nancy let out a frustrated sigh. She wanted them to look at her. Nancy turned back to the hole. She got down on her hands and knees and started to crawl. Even though she was by no means big, she still had to bend her head down and the rough edges of the fence gap caught onto her dress. Nancy continued to pull herself forwards and a small part of her skirt ripped. She wanted to see what was beyond the long grass, so she crawled for just a little bit longer. As she stood up once more, she saw that dirt was stuck to her hands and knees. There was a splash nearby. Immediately, Nancy headed towards it. At first, all she could see was a large pond of muddy water. After a few more steps, the little girl began to sense that she wasn't alone. Indeed, she wasn't. It turned out that she had walked straight into the largest crocodile enclosure at the attraction. Some of the reptiles were hiding in the grass, while others were resting in the water. At the sight of a small child, all the crocodiles started to move. In that single enclosure were a dozen of them, and even the smallest one was larger than little Nancy. Soon, the people outside of the fence noticed that a five-year-old girl was left with 12 crocodiles. Not long after her parents had stopped talking to the stranger, they began to search for their daughter. They assumed that Nancy had simply gotten lost in the bustling crowd, but their anxiety reached its peak when a visitor pointed out that inside of one of the enclosures was a child. Nancy's parents wasted no time rushing over to where the child was supposed to be. According to all the whispers, people had assumed that this was just one of the many crazy shows on display. That explained why there was no one doing anything to help the little girl. Things had seemed calm until Nancy's mother screamed. That's my daughter. Someone, please help. The panicked woman cried. Nancy's father ran over to the fence and tried to climb it. Unfortunately, he wasn't strong enough to pull himself over. He also began to shout for help, his body beginning to shake with stress. It was as if all the visitors were too shocked to act. The wailing parents couldn't keep their eyes off the moving crocodiles, which were getting closer and closer to their daughter. After a moment, another person began to shout for help. 
A couple of people started to leave the crowd, urgent in their sudden mission to find a staff member or someone who was brave enough to save the child. But no one seemed eager to throw themselves into the crocodile's den, even if it was to help an innocent child. However, after the crocodiles crowded around Nancy, what they did was unbelievable. Even though they were so close to a potential meal, none of the crocodiles moved to attack. These fearsome creatures, known for their terrifying appearance and great strength, were doing nothing more than staring at the little girl. Almost a minute had passed and the crocodiles did nothing more than remain still. It was at that moment that a random man decided to jump over the fence. He must have realized that as dangerous as the crocodiles were, they were not in a mood to attack. He ran over to Nancy, dodging the crowd of reptilian bodies spread across the enclosure. He sped towards the child, who had tears streaming down her face. As soon as she was within arm's reach, Nancy pulled her arms up and wrapped them around him. The man pulled the little girl into his arms and ran back to the fence. As if broken from a spell, the crocodiles began to shift. No longer were they like statues. They scurried after the man and Nancy. She began to cry as she noticed the crocodiles following them. The crowd grew loud, some people shouting and screaming while others cried. Finally, the young man reached the fence and gently threw the girl over the fence, grateful when another man from outside of the enclosure caught her. The crocodiles were close now, but the man was quicker. He wrapped his hands around the fence and pulled himself up and over. His back hit the ground loudly, but he didn't seem to mind the sting. Instead, the man smiled. He was safe. As well as that, he saved the child. Around him, people began to clap. All the bystanders watched the scene with their hearts in their throats, petrified by the nightmare that took place before them. But now, the moment was over, and luckily, no one was badly hurt. Nancy's parents hurried over to their daughter. Nancy cried into their arms. They were angry at themselves for having lost sight of Nancy in the first place, but nevertheless, relieved that she was now safe and sound. All of this took place several decades ago. Since then, stricter laws regarding the use of exotic animals for entertainment have been enforced. Also, there have been more safety measures placed so that children are less likely to experience situations such as this one. Nevertheless, it is always important that parents keep an eye on their children whenever they're in an unfamiliar place. Thank goodness for the hero of the story. This man had the courage to step up when no one else would. The little girl learned her lesson. But she also learned that there are good people out there who are willing to do the unthinkable to help others. What did you think was going to happen to the little girl? If you found this story interesting, please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. Be sure to turn the notification button on so that you'll be notified when our next video is out. See you again soon!